Hello my new moon beauties and welcome back to the Raising Wellness channel. I am so excited to have you guys here and I want to begin this video letting you know that I am a water sign. I am a water baby. I am this free flowing kind of creative person and I'm really learning how to step into that space and because of this I want to let you guys know that these new moon and full moon videos have been pretty much the same for the past six or so months and I'm really feeling this energy to change them, to mix them up a bit, to dive into deeper elements and layers with you guys with the new moon. I, I want to give you the meditations, I want to give you that space, but I want to do things a little bit differently. So this video is going to be different than what you have been experiencing the past six or so months. We're going to talk about the new moon and then we're going to dive into something a little bit different for you to bring into your new moon ritual. Maybe it'll work better for you. You know, maybe you've been struggling with the meditations or they haven't been resonating. So I hope that those of you out here who are feeling like you need something a little bit different for your new moon ritual, that this new way of doing it might help you and, and give you that space to explore and uh, notice the energy of the new moon. So jumping right into everything, this new moon is happening on June 3rd, 2019 in the sign of Gemini, so the twins. And the sign of Gemini, it takes place in the third house, which is the house of communication. So how I think of this is that Gemini is in the house of communication, you know, talking back and forth, exchanging words, intellect, the mind, it's kind of like this upper area, this um, floating kind of feeling, you know, you're communicating through exchanges of vibration in wind and force, and it's this airy element. So with it comes this feeling of floatingness, airiness, expansion, expression kind of feeling. So there's a tendency to want to explore and expand and, and, and notice all these things, but there's also this feeling of being ungrounded or flighty in how you are exploring those things. Maybe you spread yourself too thin. So keep an eye out for that when we're in this air energy of Gemini in the third house of communication and mind and intellect. You really want to kind of see where you're at, how you're approaching certain things during this new moon. And the highest vibration of Gemini is this explorative and expansive and wanting to learn kind of feeling. And then the lowest vibration of Gemini in this element of air is kind of the, the flightiness, the, the chaotic energy, the ungrounded energy. And it's not to say that the highest vibration and the lowest vibration, one is better than the other. It's just here as a meter for you to see where you're at. Where are you coming from? Where are you directing your life from? Is it from this chaotic, maybe flighty energy? Or is it from this explore, explorative and expansive and, and um, passion to learn, right? So keep an eye out on those things. And Gemini also, it might give you this feeling of that that chaotic kind of energy to feel like a spontaneous energy, a need for change. So if that's happening for you, recognize it. Where is it showing you that you need to change? Where are you feeling those intuitive impulses to shift something, to change something? And I'm tuning into this energy by shifting and changing up the way that I do these new moon and full moon videos. You know, I'm just tapping into that creative expression and discovering and and feeling that need for change and, and flowing with it rather than, you know, pushing against or pushing away from it because it might be scary. So because Gemini is happening on this full moon, this time of planting seeds, of wiping the slate clean, you know, not seeing the moon, seeing just the little stars in the black. Oh, um, there, I think I'm going to focus now. Um, this is the time of planting seeds, so really become mindful of how you're planting the seeds. Are the goals or intentions that you're planting coming from 
that chaotic grabbing reaching you know flighty spreading yourself thin kind of energy or are they coming from that desire for change by exploring and expanding yourself and learning where where are the seeds coming from so i want you to kind of keep your eyes out for that and really just allow yourself to observe the seeds that you're planting and why you have this willingness to or want and passion to plant them and ask is this truly benefiting me or am i seeking to just fill space maybe to run away from something to fill up your time um, so that you don't have to experience uh, the true goals that you want, you know, really going for building that business or going back to school or um, creating that family life that you want or creating that financial income and abundance that you want. Are you filling up your time and space with all these extra curricular things of um, that are just there to spread you thin, like busy work, you know, that aren't actually driving you to the goals that you truly want to manifest. Maybe you're um, adding all those things to your plate because there's fear around it. That's totally fine. Just observe why you're doing it, why you're planting those seeds instead of the seeds that you truly want. And that is really what this, this new moon is about, is seeing and tapping into why you're planting seeds. What is the the base intention behind them. And once you have observed the seeds and the base intention behind them, I urge you to reconfigure. You know, if, sorry, my dog's barking. Um, if the seeds that you are planting are making you feel full, making you feel grounded, making you feel joyful and expansive, then plant those seeds. But if you've observed that those seeds are making you feel ungrounded, unstable, fearful, they're tapping into that fear element, that lack mindset, then observe them, reevaluate them, and see where you can change them to actually be the seeds that you want to plant. And I hope that that all makes sense because it's really big and important to plant the seeds that make you feel joyful and expansive. There is this really big feeling in the world right now, I think, to hustle and to grind and to and do things this certain way, you know, if you're on Instagram as an influencer, you reach out to these brands, you do this to be successful. Um, if you're in an MLM, there's these things to be successful. If you want to own a business, this is this kind of roadmap. You know, a lot of people have done these things online now to be successful, but maybe it looks different for you. Or maybe you don't want to do stuff online. Are you following a roadmap or are you allowing your creative expression to, um, to pull you through, to drive you through? And that totally wasn't on my notes to talk about, but it just kind of came out. There's this really big drive for the hustle and the grind and the play-by-play -play, rather than the stepping into your power, stepping into your intuitive self and flowing with things that actually make you feel joyful and, and being able to register and know them as things that make you feel expansive and joyful rather than the things that you feel like you have to do. Um, that kind of just flowed out, so I hope that it made sense for you guys. And instead of doing the meditation for this new moon, you know, we've been tapping into these meditations. If you're on this channel, it's because you're interested in meditation, you have done meditation and mindfulness practices before. So even if you have just a touch of, of uh, experience with meditation or yoga or anything in this kind of holistic realm, I want to guide you and give you permission to make space for yourself. Whether it's right now when you're watching this, or it's June 3rd, or maybe it's a little couple of days after, or a couple of days before, you know, create a space, create a container for yourself. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and really allow yourself to become present in this space with you, just as you are right here and now. Allow yourself to let go of, of this, what I've shown you here. Allow yourself to let go of to-do lists, any communications and relationships and zero in here and now on you just as you are mind body and spirit and create this container to 
ask these questions of yourself that I'm going to share with you. And just really allow yourself to zero in and come to this space with an open heart. Allow you yourself to come to this space with a relaxed energy. Take a few deep breaths, whatever you feel called to do. Tune in to that creative self, that expressive self, that self that wants to take up space, that intuitive, impulsive self. And just allow yourself to drop in and ask this question, how am I feeling? And ask this question to observe all the different areas of your life. So maybe you say, how am I feeling about my home life? And just allow yourself to be here, be present with whatever arises, whatever feelings. You know, maybe you can tap into more of that Gemini energy and maybe you're feeling chaotic or flighty or ungrounded about it. Or maybe you're feeling expansive and expressive and open and, and curious and explorative about it. Tap in, see where you are at in that, that large continuum of the highest vibration of this Gemini energy or the lowest vibration of this Gemini energy. Not saying either one is good or bad, remember, just tuning in, seeing what's there. So how am I feeling in my home life? With eyes closed, tuning in. Just observing what's there, taking a moment or a minute to observe what's there and then journaling it down. And then do that same question. How am I feeling about your friendships and relationships, your career or, or job, wh wherever you are in, in that kind of space? Um, how are you feeling about your self-image, your body image, your, your healing practice and process? And how are you feeling about your finances? And maybe there's different areas of your life that are um, being shown to you right now, things that are uh, on the upper part of your list of things to look at, you know, that I didn't talk about here with home, relationships, career, self-image, self-healing, or finances. Maybe there's another category in there. Write it down and take this time and space to ask, how am I feeling about this? Remember, you're creating this container, this open container to observe whatever arises in its true authenticity and to notice it and observe it without judgment. So ask yourself, how am I feeling about these certain areas? And after you have figured out how you're feeling about those certain areas, maybe there's two or three areas that are really sticking out to you right now that you wanna focus on. And maybe there are certain intentions you can draw, certain seeds you can draw that you can plant for this new moon. Maybe there's areas where you can see that you can tweak things. Maybe you have been seeing things through a, a different lens and, and then where you truly want it to go. And so, because you've written it down, you can see it outside of the mind. You can start to make those tweaks. Write an affirmation for it. Plant that seed of intention that's true and authentic to you, that feels good, that makes you feel joyful, that makes you feel expanded that makes you feel expressive that makes you feel happy make sure you're planting those seeds because everything else doesn't matter you can explore it and observe it but the truth of you is light and joy and happiness so plant those seeds of intention for this gemini new moon that make you feel happy and joyful and expansive and grounded so with all that being said, you guys, I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful Gemini new moon this June 3rd. And let me know in the comments down below, did you, do you like the meditations? Do you like this kind of journaling prompt exercise? What is it that you like to do for your new moon ritual? And hopefully I can guide you in future videos to do those things and to just be a cheerleader here for you for your new moon intention setting. I'm gonna wrap up, wrap up the video here because it's been 15 minutes. Um, I'm sending you guys so much love, so much unconditional and, and authentic gratitude because I'm so happy and grateful for all of you that are here on this channel who are 
in this similar vibration and wave as me and as this entire Raising Wellness Collective. I love you guys so much and I can't wait to hear all about your new moon ritual, all about those new moon seeds that you're planting. And don't forget to hit the like or subscribe button down below if you love these videos and I will see you guys next time.